in his lane just making sure that Burby schools has the vision right before they take in the thrill he's being such a menace here to the side of little gun Ooh, and with the electo final blow and nico with the heavy left punch is gonna find eyes in now seven to four on the scoreboard and up by a thousand gold for the side of the burmese schools yeah man seven kills for the side of burmese schools i love how their xp lane is in check socks as well with the detonas welcome here turns gonna be reset though it's gonna be reset but still very low. Anybody's game looks like Soxa may be able to get it. He has the positioning and the retribution. And Team Little Gun unable to close the distance. Burmese schools able to get the second turtle. Yeah, up to 2,000 gold right now for Burmese schools. Doing so well by taking in these objectives. And you see how Delar is proactive all around the map. You know, the last time I've seen this guy was already so long, and I'm so happy to see him, like, shining here for the Burmese schools in this game. So let's see. It's a crucial one for them, and they're creating pressure all throughout. As you can see, there's already been a lane switch here for this, their side. Actually, Nico going towards the top side, making sure that is checked. And for Burmese schools, this is good. The Sox is primed up. One more kill will actually give him that killing spree. But it's just five minutes in, right? And this is standard for the lineup here of Burmese schools. You got a lot of these fighters. I love how Lil Gun is kind of trying to answer back here with those early game exchanges. But the thing in the thing is here that you kind of have to get your gold laners farm up once it reaches the mid to late game. So they can kind of um, dish out that damage once you you finally get in um, the, the objectives here. Speaking of damage, Nico having concrete in those gloves. Dilar is going to take down Ethan in the mid lane. Soxa finds Zara. Now 9-4 to four, and it keeps on climbing. And Soxa takes down Forbid for a second kill. That is a double kill in the mid lane. Clean up on aisle 3 and down goes the tier 1 turret. Wow. Burmese Schools is just on a rampage right now. They've been taking in kills after kills here for Soxa, especially who's already standing at a 4-0-3. Level 10. Two levels ahead up against Zora. And even here onto the XP lane. The Paquito yeah, actually Nico. making that lane work too. Like Burmese Schools are already invaded here. The jungle of uh, Lil Gun. Map control is also towards their side. So the last turtle, even the Lord, can actually be picked up here by the Burmese Schools. Yeah, they're started with a little bit of a snowball and it's turned into an avalanche as they are battling out. Like to find a blow. Dilar mm -hmm, trying to get away, but caught in his tracks, might not be able to escape. Zara with the side play will take him down. Detna's welcome is going to go in, connect onto Zara, but not able to stop him. Drops the oil, trying to do anything he can. Nico finds the marksman, though, will shut down Babex. 12 to 5 lead and now up by 6,000 gold. Turtle spawned in and Soxa pulling the aggro. Yeah, the turtle last one. I think this, there's going to be no contest at all. You see how <laughs> Burby Schools got it contained there, even making sure that none of these players from Little Guns can actually come in. What I'm actually looking forward to is that I am offended pull here by Ethan and then combine it here with the uh, with the ultimate here of the die rod. Definitely going to be a very good combo. I've seen that several times yesterday. The, the pull in from the Ruby will be crucial here for Little Gun to actually make that game-changing play here up against Burby Schools. Is that Paquito or is that Manny Pacquiao out there? The way Nico is dealing that damage. Six, one, and two for the Burmese school so far. Mm -hmm. Having such a crucial role in today's game. Highest kills in the game, mind you, on top of that. Able to take the first turret of the game. Able to help in the mid lane as well. And deal massive damage. Team Lil Gun now on the back end. Trying to find a way to turn this back around. They were in the lead slightly in the beginning. But then in the blink of an eye, the Burmese schools got on fire. 
Yeah, they were keeping up with the Burmese schools in the early game. 60 seconds before our first Lord is up. This could actually be one of the things that Burmese schools is eyeing right now. They can create more pressure up against at least the second tier turrets here of Little Gun. They're taking in all of the resources too. So Sora hasn't been able to take much, right? Like Sox already two levels in, has a whole lot more gold than him. And he's been getting that stacks up as of the moment right that that barrett's ha has been so stacked up getting in that full stacks once he gets into the clash there's really nothing much the others can do he can gap that the tone is welcome too so that's really why little gun hasn't been able to make in the place that they want yet yeah and you are looking at those items on the board stitch up by 2000 gold ahead of bebex so far he didn't have the easiest time in the early phase bebex was able to shut him down with that first kill but now it's a different story with the rotations of the Burmese schools able to take all of the turtles so far, giving their team a massive XP boost. And then also claiming majority of the turrets, they're already down to their inhibitors on the top and bottom side, only holding on to the tier two in the mid lane and the Lord is spawning in. Yeah, they're gonna be trading the bottom turret for the Lord, but this is the best that Lil Gun can actually do, right? They know that if this, this contest will be really hard knowing that uh, Stitch is way ahead here of uh, up against Bebex. One level ahead is a big thing for the gold lane. So they're just going to be taking in the tower, taking in the space. The Lar creating some space here, gets petrified and is going to be taken down here by Lil Gun. Yeah, another kill. But this time going to the side of Team Lil Gun, they were able to take that turret. Now down to the inhibitor for the Burby Schools on the bot side. A decent trade, especially for that Lord going in there. But is it enough to keep them in this match? Oh my God, Nico! What is going on with this man today? I don't, I don't know if he did a little bit of a sparring session before this game started, but that damage output is definitely insane. Definitely a lot of warm up. He definitely had a lot of warm up from yesterday's games, right? Like we've been keeping all that energy and wanting to put it all out here in today's games. And Burmese schools are looking to take them. Uh, Taking game number one as of the moment, right? Socks already charging in. At the same time, Burby Schools, they're taking in as much turrets as they can. Taking in the space map control 10 minutes in. 33k gold lead for them and Little Gun. It's a good thing, although they actually took in some towers there. Two towers on the bottom side to create the space. But this is not enough, right? They should at least maybe contest for the Lord. Shut down Saxa here is going to be one of the things that they need to consider here once it comes to the lead. Gold lead, rather. Man, now seeing that lord on the top side down to their inhibitors for the side of team little gun lord will fall a little bit of i'm infinite catching stitch out of position zara will get the kill nico will claim the inhibitor on the bottom side black dragon from aizen wrap it around may want to go into the back line but no hits a quick 180 and disengages yeah nice i am offended from eden we were looking at like maybe three or two tug ins with it that i'm offended from eden but you know that was that was big too like stitch getting caught there he popped in that salmon force but wasn't really able to get out the purify was already used so he didn't really have that to cancel it out too so this is a pick off that little guns uh, at least tried to get in and now looking at the items that they picked up here uh, a couple of necklace durances and we see uh, the sea halberds being picked up here because of the durability that the burby schools has the shields and even the heels coming out from the rafaela is proving to be such a menace here for little guns to deal with as we are jumping into the mid game as well you are looking at burby schools up by six thousand gold still looking at stitch trailing two thousand over Bebex, actually, you know, 1,000 now. So Bebex is slowly starting to catch up, and that's what Team Little Gun is going to kind of want to bank on, right? Get Bebex online, get the core items he needs to burst down Soxa, possibly take down Stitch as well. Uh, but overall, Zara is really the one kind of keeping Little Gun in this game. Five, three, and one in counting, but he can't do it all, especially running Dyroth in that jungle position. He can't really frontline anymore, or Burmy Schools will definitely focus him down and take him out which would be a free neutral objective when these lords spawn in. So he is going to have to play a little bit safer now. It's really going to be on Ethan, right? Ethan needs to rush in, get a good I'm Offended set, mm -hmm. and then possibly get a counter play on that against the side of Burmese Ghouls. But will they give them that opportunity? Yeah, look the zone in coming out from Nico there. He was able to zone out the Ethan before they try to come in and get that Lord. Ethan here has the flicker, can try to go in for that I am offended play. Lord is already at half HP here, but look at how Nico is uh, keeping everyone at bay. And Lil Gun also has to consider that they have the minions coming in. Care from Dilar, who has been clearing out the lane. And all around the map, Burmese schools just got it all covered. They take in the second Lord of the game, and this is the Luminous Lord for the Burmese schools.
I'm convinced Nico was in that bush just putting concrete in his gloves to get a one punch. <laughs> Looking like Saitama out there, the way he's At knocking point, down Team Logan. I think Logan. he can be a one punch man. I think he can be, right? The burst is already there. He he picked up like the, the Hunter Strike and a couple of these um, uh, physical penetration items that even like Ethan and Aizen will be forced to back away from the damage that the Pegito is actually dishing out. And now just that one time from that I am offended, Forbid got that uh, that holding baptism, but it's not going to be enough, right? He can stun, at least get a nice three stun. Lord is already here. Enhanced Lord for their side. The Largo's in. Electo final blow to clear the waves just for Burmese schools to actually try to take it in. But can they defend this one? They're doing this methodically by taking out all of the inhibitors here, which is really good. This leaves Little Ooh. Gun's base in, but that's the tug we're looking for! Yeah, two-man set with the I'm offended! Big play, Blink finds Ethan Stitch. Is gonna take down Zara. Black Dragon from Aizen, back to the base for some region! Is gonna get that escape. Oh no, Nico! Right in time, Nico will find Bebex, though. Furious dive in from Aizen! Has the straw S's, can it sustain himself? Daylar! It's only for this assassination decapitates him. Base crystal, 50%. Forbid by himself. Like the final blow. Bully and Forbid back to the base, and down goes the crystal. Is ladies and gentlemen, Burmese schools all the way from Myanmar, able to shut down Team Lil Gun game one in group A, stage two today. For the game of futures. Ethan gets in the nice knockup, but I think Burmese schools might try to commit here. They're trying to get that pressure up against the side of Lil Gun before this Lord is up, like forcing them to back away, uh, making sure that their lanes are cleared up so that Lil Gun can no longer move forward once it goes into that major objective, which is the Lord that will be spawning in 25 seconds, 60 minutes in the game. And you did mention that Lil Gun is that kind of team that, um, you know, likes to go for that late game. And as for Burmese schools, again, it is still pretty much. A, a late game type of composition for them if you count in the the nathan here which is really fast and shredding down those turrets and at the same time uh, a very good amount of damage right now he is leading in terms of the goal right now so far in the game 50k for the side of burmese schools but one shut down one uh one takedown here for both sides will actually be crucial when it comes to the gold swing yeah we're officially in the late game once you pass that 50,000 threshold everybody having those in-game items to deal that massive damage and also be able to sustain themselves. So this is going to boil down to who can execute better. So far, when it comes to execution, though, we see Burmese schools doing a little bit better at it in this match. Team Lil Gun, though, like I said, don't count them out. They're playing for the late game, and late game has arrived. As you are going to see this Lord spawn in, aggro has been pulled, and it looks like Team Lil Gun will shift their focus to trying to control this Lord pit. But Soxa and Blink in a great position to contest. But on the bot side, again, Time and time again, mm -hmm. Nico putting pressure on the side lanes to force the split push from Team Logan. Yeah, see, at this point, Bebex is like, yeah, I'm staying with you guys. I'm not going to do that <laughs> split push. <laughs> I mean, there's a setups here coming out from Lil Gun, right? They have the Guinevere, they got that uh, Ruby as well to make in those uh, game-changing plays. But they're, the thing, is, the problem here is that Bebex is taken down. Their damage dealers are taken down before, even if they have a good engage, they aren't able to back it up. Now, let's see if Burby Schools can take uh, this second enhanced sword of the game. Everyone's just trying to go in for the pokes right now. Immortalities have been purchased at this point, and Sasa's is still going to be working in on that Lord. Let's see if Aizen's going to be able to get that nice tug. Here comes the Tonus. Welcome from Sasa, though. Half HP for the Lord. Yeah, they're fighting it out, but Nico on the bot side. Mm -hmm. Backdoor play. Nico, Maybe on the way. Nico. They're get back in time. Nico's going for it. Can he make He's it? He's risking it all. Full demon time. Stitch is going to find Aizen, though, on the Lord play. 25% HP. Bebex takes the fight to Nico, but he has assistance over here as he is going to be playing with Ethan. Bebex does take him down. He gets the sweet revenge he was looking for. Now Zara will shut down Dilar. Battle for the Lord on the way. Fracture goes down. Immortality being proc. Zara, very low. He has the retribution. He knows he cannot fall here. Everyone's low. They will lose this game and they will be knocked out of game of Futures 2024. Burmese schools, they are going to go in for this Lord now with the advantage of the separation. They may be able to take it, but they don't know where they are. Maybe they think they're still in the bush. So they are going to play a little bit safer. Still anybody's match. Yeah, at this point, I think uh, that Nico has enough workout already. I mean, he has been traveling all across the map, right? Like making sure that all of these lanes are cleared out, making sure to get that split push. It actually bought a lot of time for Burmese schools, but Saxa didn't actually go for the commit onto the Lord, knowing that he is was very low at that time. He did not have those stacks, those full stack up against the Barretts. But now Lil Gun, gonna try and initiate for this Lord, but everybody's really low. Saxa though, taking a brunt of the damage here, goes for the Totus Welcome. 
Vitality being proxed from both members, from both sides. Another run being activated. Forbid trying to keep the team alive. Nico gets oh, one. Nico. Finds Zara. Big play. Takes down the jungler for Team Lil Gun. No retribution. Meaning Burmese schools may be able to take this objective uncontested as Team Lil Gun will disengage from the Lord Pit. Hey, Nico's this kind of guy that's like, okay, I'm going to come in, take someone down, and then for the split push. It's kind of really annoying here right now for Lil Gun, not for Bebex, even for Sora here that has uh, just uh, having a really hard time not knowing where Nico is. Like, two hit the lead for this guy. He picked up a BOD, he picked up that Malefic Roar so he can ensure to see that, you know, these um, these squishier heroes can get taken down easily. But Burmese schools got what they wanted. They got this Lord up. They got Saksa here. It's a complete team here for the side of Burmese schools that's knocking in the door here of Little Gun. You know, Bebex is grinning. Uh, mm -hmm. Got that revenge on Nico, but now Nico looking to probably take him down mm -hmm. again. Bebex may want to be careful. <laughs> he is. We're going to go ahead and see this uh, Luminous Lord make his way into the base for Team Lil Gun. On their final stand, they need to be able to thin this off or they are knocked out a game of Futures 2024. This moment you want it, but you better never let it go. You only have one shot. Don't miss this chance to blow as Burmese Ghouls still going to disengage. Mm -hmm. They're not going to yeah. be able to push forward with this Luminous Lord. Lil Gun able to defend. Yeah, the wave clear though of Lil Gun is, uh, I mean, as compared to Burmese schools, Burmese schools has a lot more wave clear here as compared to Lil Gun, who is more on the setups. They actually didn't go for the full commit, knowing that Lil Gun can actually punish them in their base. So they didn't, didn't go for it for the full commit. And 21 minutes in, we're still not done yet. Looking at the items here, I really can't tell you guys anymore, but a lot of the immortalities have been purchased. And at this point, like, <laughs> no one is leading in terms of the items because everybody pretty much got what they wanted. But Burby Schools, I think they should be able to take down this last inhibitor, maybe possibly go the safer route, take that last Lord, and maybe seal the deal here for Lil Guns. What they really need to do is take down these damage dealers, which Nico has been doing so well, right? Like, looking at him, it's a full damage item. So what you know, Lil Gun needs to do here if they want to get Nico contained is maybe get him on the setups here for Aizen or maybe get the setups uh, from Ethan as well to get in that Violet Requiem and that Spatial Migration combination. But as of the moment, right, Burby Schools is playing this um, nice and safe. Maybe go for the split push later on while everybody's busy uh, trying to maybe steal the Lord. But here it is. Two things that can happen here for Burby Schools. Split push or go for the Lord. Well, I'll tell you what, I think Nico only knows two words. And you know what that is? Bay and Bex. <laughs> so yeah, they might want to be careful <laughs> as he rotates around this map. As you are seeing both teams ready to fight it out again, possibly in the jungle. Lord will spawn in the next 30 seconds. Battle on the oh. way though, Blink. Blink. Taken down to about 50% yeah, HP. Will expand the distance away from Team Lil Gun. Definitely does not want any parts of that. I mean, we're at the 23 minute mark, right? If anybody falls, they're going to be down for like an entire minute. And that is huge for either side. And definitely going to have to kind of play closer together. But Nico, again, <laughs> look at him with this blue push uh -huh. on the bot side. Our He's the only side. player doing this in this entire map. Team Lil Gun having a hard time rotating around and denying his split push mm -hmm. capability. Yeah, at this point, like I was like, okay, is it Nico or is it Stitch? Because you know the Nathan can actually shed down the base really fast. Like there was a time before it was so broken. Like I can just, you know, get that Johnson in, land it in the base, and it's over, right? But now it has been adjusted, so everybody's just gonna go for, of course, the safer route here for Burmy schools is to take down this Lord so that they can finally take in the base here. But look at Nick, what Nico is doing here at this point. <laughs> it's not even Delar. It is Nico doing the work. Even Delar is actually setting up for some sort of uh, split push play here. A lot of the minion waves are crashing in the base here of Lil Gun, particularly the bottom side, which kind of caused like one or two players to actually go back for the base. But Sora is still here, trying to get that steal with the retribution. But here comes Ethan, though, denied of that uh, set. But Whoa. it's gonna be Stitch picking up that kill. Yeah, Stitch is gonna pick up the Lord. He's got Nico, the Lord. They're gonna be able to push Nico. Oh, gonna take down four bit. But now, trapped in the base, Stitch finds eyes and Nico needs to get out of there. Special migration for the knockup. Zara joining the party, the four man team. They're gonna make it pay. He's gonna hit the winner. Trust me, no, try to sustain himself. Buying as much time as he can. Forbid buying the immortality. Luminous Lord now making his way through the mid lane. 
Yo, Nico, at this point, this guy has so many tricks up his sleeve. I thought it was just immortality. He even bought the Winter Truncheon to buy him some time, but it's inevitable here. Numbers advantage. Actually, both sides have four members, but this is the Luminous Sword you're talking about. It's crashing in the base, a little gun. Lil Gun with their final stand, trying to hold off Burmese schools, not trying to get knocked out of the game of future. Stish finds one, gets a double takes down Zara. Down goes the base, Crystal, and Burmese schools, fresh out of Myanmar, shuts down Team Lil Gun out of Mongolia, knocked out of the.